Okay, so I shot over the moose from 125. That means we have at least 130. Guys, we are in the studio. Tim's tinkering. I'm just here to help Tim. We got the dialed sight. Did he, did you already tell him that you're given? Oh, you'll find out about that in a second. Tim's running a single pin, Montana Black Gold. I love Montana Black Gold, guys, love them. We gotta be tinkering. Tim messed with the prototype and I had to send it back because it was a prototype. Tim ordered an actual dialed, like past prototype stage and it's three pin vertical. That's pretty sexy, let's check it out. Is it durable? Will it last Tim Connor in North Idaho mountains? I don't know, only time will tell. Can it give Tim more distance than his other sight? If we don't change the weight of his arrow, we don't change anything to his bow, can he get a longer sight tape? Because right now he's maxed at 108. We need to figure these things out today. We'll bring you along and stick around to the end because Tim's feeling pretty generous. Elephant in the room. Let's get it out of the way right away. This relative to most bow hunting sites is expensive, $550. Does that mean you should or shouldn't buy it? Well, it's up to you. We're gonna do the testing, we're gonna do the tinkering. As a disclaimer, I did not pay for this. They sent this to us, plus they sent us one more, we're gonna tell you about that in a second. But they sent this to us because they want to learn, they want to take our feedback, your feedback, grow, and get our opinions. So we're gonna do what we do. We're gonna test it out, we're gonna try it out, we're gonna run it through the ringer and let you know what we think. Let's go. That's about as good as it's going to the bottom of the housing. Yeah, that's good. You can come up a little bit. Oh, good. Yeah, come up a little bit. That is great. Right there? Yeah. Okay. You got to crack this and you can move the third axis. I just adjusted that third axis a lot. It's a very small, minute adjustment. That's coming out of the box stock nice and neutral and plumb, but as you shoot a steep uphill downhills, you can basically move that in or out, get it set, lock it back down. We're gonna keep it neutral now. I just wanna show you guys that. Let's go ahead and adjust the, the first axis is claimed to come out of the manufactured dope, so we're gonna just dope in the second axis. So we're gonna throw a string level on. We've got a Hamsky. I would get the second gen Hamsky. I have the first. This is Josh Jones's invention. So we gotta adjust. That's level. That's level. All right, so level, level, level. Tighten it down, Timmy. Okay, guys, so we're basically, we got the string level, we got the hamski tool level, and then I guess it's just in the actual, these screws right here. We'll show it, Tim. These two guys right here. Can you see those two guys? Yeah. You're going to loosen those slightly and then you got to kind of stand on this side and make sure that the bubble on the housing matches your hamski tool and your string level, which it does right now. Tim, I'll steal the camera if you want to tighten that down. Your level, level, level. Yep. Level, level, level. 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 We're trying to get my 20, and then we'll get my, my 20, my 60, maybe a little further if I can get out to MFJJ so we can dial in the sight tape. Are you bottomed out? I'm bottom bottomed right now, so. That's what you want. Yeah, to get the most out of your slide, right? Yep. Yeah. Hot. 
So my peep is good size with the matches up. What size peep? The you reticle. Got? Yeah, the three sixteenths. You want to go up because your white tail. We gotta move that up. Yeah. Airplane, cut. Look at him. Just look at him doing nothing. <laughs> Just flying around, running our YouTube videos every time. What are you doing? Hey Tim, I'm gonna tell you right now, I wasn't stoked. So I have to say this because people think we just get stuff for free and then we just have to say nice things about companies. I like the dudes at Dial. The end. Number two, this thing is not gonna be perfect. This is brand new to the market. They're still making adjustments. Don't really like the second axis adjustment. It's just two screws. It's like why, like you kind of, like I'm used to going in, just making, loosening one screw, moving the ring. I think that's something that needs to be improved upon, but we got it adjusted. Now you need to shoot 20. And then once we get 20 dope, we can kind of see what are your gaps for those three pens? Yeah. I'm thinking 20, 40, 60, but I'm not sure. What do you think? I would guess 20, 35, 50, something like that. Let's find out. What about the people that live behind you? What do your neighbors say? Sorry. Better. Still a little high. Yeah. Gotta come up a little more. I really like the dial guys. And I also like the ultra view site that's coming out. I think they're both good. Now, both you companies listen up to Dan the Fitness Man. I am saying, I like where you're, you guys are both pushing the archery boundary. And this video is not about ultra view sites. It's about the Arxos, but both y'all, make sure you're making stuff that's bulletproof for out west. Dragging your bow through North Idaho brush, the west coast of Washington, Oregon brush. Like, make sure your stuff's bulletproof. That's gonna be another video because we're gonna, Tim's gonna put it through its paces. All right, 25 yards. I really might like having the level on top. When I get down, the bubble's never in my peripherals. So I start to get a little worried as my bubble level. Right now, as it sits, the bubble's in my peripherals. So I can stare at the pin, but I can see if anything goofy's going on. Which when we're doing this tack stuff or shooting on side hills, like the bubble gets to be really, really important. It's pretty low light right now, right? Yeah. Sony's can kind of see in the dark, but my pins are still light enough. Probably can't hear you over the airplane. <laughs> so 25, 45, that's good. Yeah, that's not bad. Are you gonna hunt deer with this site? Yeah, I think I will, yeah. In four days? Yeah, <laughs> top pin 20 has gotta be. Arrows, when they fly, they do this thing, there they go. They have this trajectory, which is why Dan doesn't shoot 700 grain arrows, but they do this thing where they, they arc. If they were to arc past our target, there's green grass they would fall into. Not that that's ever happened. Not that that would happen, not that we would miss the target, but if they did, there's this arc. So how many yards can we shoot in my, in my domain here? Comfortably, we can stretch it back to like 80. Up my driveway to here, it's even way further. Yeah, we can get close to a hundy. We can get a hundy spot. I can do one Shooting tiny moose from a hundy. Ross's driveway is 120. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And when they're falling from a hundred, they're arcing more. Oh, really? Like yeah. math? So that's... You're talking geometry. So to the editor, you can put one of those things on the screen that... But I'm concerned about things. Yeah, I know. Probably 44, 45. Yeah, 45, I'm guessing 25, 45. Yeah. And then you can just aim for the heart from your tree stand. We're gonna dial it in, I got a few days. Yeah. Guys, comment below on Dan's video work. Should we keep them or should we fire them? I'm a pro. <laughs> Let us know what other sites we should be testing, what you guys are interested in. This is new, it's innovative. We appreciate anyone innovating. And we appreciate guys like want to hear from their peers. They want to hear from their people. They want to hear from their boots on the ground and they're listening. To me, that says a lot about a company. We still got to put it through its paces. One of these, somebody wants to shoot one of these. You're giving one away? Yeah, I think we're going to You're generous. We're going to give one away. Only positive people. I think they should have to make a post. Yeah, let's go tell them about the giveaway and uh, adjust the site a little bit. Call it good. There's Alicia. She's like the foreman. The broken foreman. Geez, you can tell you're farming because you're on the phone all the time. Yeah, gotta go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> a lot going on at this house at all times. I ordered you a phase four, 33. That means it'll get shipped to my house. 
at my porch. I saw someone make a comment the other day. They're like, how come you get your bow shipped to your house? Are you like sponsored from Matthews or something? It's like, well, I shoot for Matthews. So they send the bows to my house. Also order bows for Jake and Tim. So they send your guys' bow to my doorstep. You're running podium strings. That's not gonna be an option going forward. So I'm running gas. Jake's running ABB. You're supposed to run threads. What's the deal? Maybe one of you guys got a connection at threads cause I reached out to them and they don't want to play nice, I guess. I told, I just left them a voicemail and said, hey, we want to test your strings. Do you want to be a part of it? I don't mind paying for them or whatever, but I kind of wanted them to know what we're doing, know what we're up to. And I never heard back from them. So anyone at threads on the inside, it would be cool if we could talk to you. This part right here, this little shade, the light shade for how much light comes into your site. They have done that better since the prototype. Will this site give you more yardage than 108 yards, which is what you were maxed out on this Montana Black Hold Pro Site single pin? I don't know, we'll have to see. So once you get done dicking around, you need to and see if that angled rail gives you five more yards or 10 more yards or no more yards. And I think it will. I don't know if it'll be significant, but it should give you a few. And then their aesthetics are super dope. And the fact that you can make the switch tape on the inside or the outside. So basically, you know, the void dial can be on either side and it's super easy. They have videos on their website showing you how to do it. It's a piece of cake. You also can adjust how firm or rigid this, this, this is going up and down. I like the way it is right now, but if Tim was like, that's just too, too hard and I'm not strong, you can loosen two screws right here. I don't know if you guys can see those two, but you can loosen them just a little bit and then it will glide faster. And then did you show them the little button that you push to stop? No. You should, here, I'll grab the camera. I'll turn this around. I want to show them the button and I want to show them this. So this little button is your locker. If you don't want to slide, if you're worried about that slide, slide, slippery slide, that's your, you just pop that down and then you're locked in. You also can override it. Like if you're in the heat of the moment and you're like, I need to slide and you forgot it was locked. You can over, like you can manually go past it and it, you're, you're not going to break it. Good to know, because you've done that before. Uh, I did that on a black gold in Nevada and stripped the site. Yeah. What do you got there? They wanted to send me one, and I said, well, if you're gonna send me one, you're gonna, our subscribers would really like to have one. So here's the deal. This is exactly what I got. I ordered two of everything, so one of you can get exactly what we got, and also report your feedback. Let us know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Tag Dan, me, dialed on Instagram, and use the hashtag Elk shape dialed. I like giving stuff away. Okay. Use the hashtag, hashtag elk shape dialed on an Instagram post. Make it creative, make it funny or cinematic. Make a meme out of me or Dan or the dial guys, or make something cool. Could be a reel, could be a post, anything. We like what you make, be creative. And we're gonna give one of these away. Dan will announce it through his Instagram, not through YouTube. December 10th, get yourself this. Just make a post. Watch out for scammers, man. Scammers, post anything. Don't post nudes. Instagram won't let you do that. Post something cool. Real photo, you name it. Get yourself this. Dan will announce it December 10th. Hashtag elk shape dialed. There's scammers. Don't get scammed on YouTube. There's scammers on YouTube. Don't get scammed. Use your money to buy something cool like a hunting tag. We're not trying to feed scammers. You know what I mean? We're not going to ship you a Hoyt. We're not going to ship you a Dart and a Martin. None of it. And ask you to pay the shipping. And ask you to pay the shipping. None of it. For $150. So. Yeah. To Won't happen. <laughs> to our PayPal, yeah. To our WhatsApp. It's not there. Trust us. Instagram, December 10th. Get you some dialed. Thank you, dialed. We appreciate that. We appreciate you giving back to our subscribers. We have the coolest subscribers. It would be awesome if you would subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000. Stage two, three, four, five, whatever it is. I got my 20. Now I'm trying to get my 60. And then I'll try to get my 80. And then I'll line up a sight tape. This is all for. A bow that's going to be switched over pretty soon, but I just like having a correct sight tape. 20, 60, line up the sight tapes, maybe an additional 80. The more yardage ticks you have, the more accurate it'll be, but I just want to get something on the bow so I can then like work through it. Top of the dial is right at 20. I'm going to rip a few from 60. It's the middle of day. Spokane Valley archery, no one around, just me in the range. I like that.
All right guys, so here's the deal. I used to be able to shoot 108, sideways slide, supposed to give me some extra range, coupled with having the very bottom here that I can shoot with. How far can we shoot? Well, we're basically just gonna start all the way back and see what we can do. I'm at 127 and here's kind of the redneck engineering is we can put an arrow in here or even put an arrow in backwards and then we can see, can we get close to clearing the bottom of our site housing? Because when you start getting deeper, that ends up being the thing that you'll run into is your fletching will hit the bottom of your site housing. There's only one way to find out. Let's send it deep downtown, Charlie Brown. I'm just under a hundred top pin. My bottom pin is right here. We're just gonna shoot bottom pin. And if I'm high, I'll go back. If I'm low, I'll walk forward. And hopefully we don't lose any arrows. Oh, and uh, we're gonna get on that long lens to get you some, some crispies. 125. Okay, so I shot over the moose from 125. That means we have at least 130. I'm gonna aim low this time and hopefully hit foam to kind of get a gauge at how high I am from 125. This is as far as I could shoot. So I'm kind of trying to find the max and then working from there. I aimed probably two feet low of that moose and hit mid-body, dead nuts, mid-body elevation. Two feet from 125, I could probably get what do you think, another 10 yards? Sight tape's gonna max out about 135. We're gonna shoot, but I'm not gonna be able to get it on camera. I'll report back, but say roughly 135. So I jumped my sight up from 110 to 135. That's pretty good, just by switching sights. Having the angle, we were kind of wondering how much the angle would help. Angle plus the bottom of the post, both of that got me some extra sight tape. So I'll report back, we're gonna say conservatively 20 maybe 30 yards by switching to the site. We got that moose way down there at 135. So I went from 125 shooting over to 135. I can't get the long lens on it. I wish I could. We'll see what it does. It hit, so that's good. That just hit a freaking bullseye. 136. That one might have broke a little low. That's what we got. So we jumped from 108 to 136. That's pretty good. Good job, guys, I dialed. All right, so here's a few things I've learned I wanted to pass along. We'll do a more formal review down the road, but here's some early thoughts. It's well made. It's a beautiful looking site. It is functional. Tested it. We picked up some extra yardage. Having a level on top is really nice when you're shooting top pin. So top pin for me is center of the housing. Center of the housing gazing up is easier. When you drop down to the middle or the bottom pin, it's not as convenient, but most of your shots are gonna be top pin anyway. The bottom pin being kind of blocky and chunky is definitely not as precise. It's like a bonus pin. It's there to give you something to shoot from freaking 137. I just shot from 137. It's kind of square and blocky. The only bit of early feedback I could give of things that I think could be better, three little mini pins that you set to stack your yardages. There's a way to make these that's a little sturdier. Even the rubber was bouncing around in the housing a little. And then the other thing I would do is I would, I would color code the pins, which we could do right now with like a fingernail polish or spray paint or something like that. But having them color coded so you, you knew in the field immediately, I think would be another cool thing to do. That's first impressions of a dialed archery three pin slider. It's pretty sick. It would be worth checking out if that was something that you're looking at, no doubt. Get entered to win one of these. We're gonna give one away by December 10th. Just post on Instagram, tag us. All the details are down below in the description. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're trying to get to 100K before the end of this year. Appreciate you. We'll catch you back for the next one.